we did a YouTube intro for Bailey Coles. They used to be Olympic gold medalists for track and field. These dudes are track athletes. So I put it back on the couch, and when I went to go walk away from the couch, it slid down and hit the floor, and I was like, oh, no. Okay, I wanted a, a super cool spin, but that didn't work. Let's see. What's up, guys? This is uh, Kid Ambition, and welcome to Wavy Weekly. This is gonna be uh, a weekly series of some of the behind the scenes of how we make these projects, but there's a lot of things that go to it, and there's a whole story behind that. So today's story, we did a YouTube intro for a YouTube family channel. Family, family which is called Bailey Coles. They're a Jamaican family of three, Kamar, and he's a very cool dude. And he did, uh, he won two gold medals for one in London and one in Rio Grande for the Olympics. And Rista is a bronze medalist and Kamar is a two-time gold medalist for track and field. So they are the definition of power couple. They messaged me on my website at 1 a.m. and I was still up because that's the time that I finished my studio session. So I was still up. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna give it a chance. Give him a call. Was so I talked to uh, Rista. Man, she was just wonderful. We, we connected immediately and you know, we worked out a price and then we was on our way to making their YouTube intro. So in planning the shoot, we decided to just add a whole bunch of things that a family would do. So the first thing that I had in mind was, okay, let's obviously go to the park and let's have Kyrie, which is the son, let's have Kyrie do something and just play in the room park and have a good time, kick the ball. So that's the first thing we did. I was actually a little bit early and they were actually a little bit late. So I had a, a lot of time to kind of just be there, prepare. So that's what I was doing. I the first step was preparation. After they finally arrived, they pulled up and then we got some scenes of them getting out of the car and then we did all the park scenes and that was amazing. The only, I wouldn't say issue, the only challenge was is that Kyrie, if Kyrie doesn't know you, then Kyrie is not smiling and he did not know me and then there's a big object which could be a weapon in his eyes, but it's a camera, you know, it's just pointing at him and he's just like, bro, I don't know you, what are you doing? So uh, it took a while for Kyrie to kind of get adjusted to me, but um, his energy, he, he loved to kick the ball, he loved to run. Um, there was a part where there's like ABCs on, on the, I guess it's like a, a ramp to get into the playground. He was just, A, B, C. He was so intrigued yes, about saying C. the letters and hey, he's a, yeah. he seemed like a smart kid and it was great. So that was the first scene. That took a couple hours. We got some drone scenes as well to kind of swoop in. Only problem with the drone scene is that I had another videographer. I let him borrow my drone previously. So when I got it back, I thought that everything was in the bag, but it was in a separate bag. And that is where I had two, I would say the analog stick to control the drone. Like you have to screw it in and put it in and, and move it around. Um, I didn't have those there. So I just had to use like the empty balls. Because I didn't have that, it came out a little choppy. And so that's when I had to rely on Mr. Justine's magical powers and Justine, you know, put some cool drone footage in there and he always works his magic when the time needs it to, so. I got you, homie. I don't mean to interrupt, but make sure you guys like because this is the first video. So if you guys are enjoying it, please give it a like and a subscribe. Keep watching. And the second scene was going to be a whole bunch of stuff and one, was a green screen because we were limited on bases that would look appealing to the audience. I don't know, I just wanted the background to look really good. So because I knew that we were gonna be in a smaller space, I decided to use the green screen and that was a fun time because we kinda came up with a whole bunch of different ideas. So one of the things that they wanted is a solo introduction. So each person kinda has their own quick little cameo. So what we did is we set up the green screen, which kind of took a while because with green screening, it's all about lighting and we just had so many different parts to, to make sure it looks good. But I've been learning a lot about green screen, so I'm getting better. 
Justine might say otherwise, but I am getting better. So we finally got that done and then we came up with a whole bunch of creative ideas. Both of them were shy. And I'm like, first of all, you guys are YouTubers. You guys shouldn't be shy. Um, you guys are debating who should go first and what, 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 you guys do this for a living or not for a living, but eventually you do it for a living, but you really do this. So you guys can't be shy. So I'm giving them ideas. I'm dancing with them, playing the song like, Hey, let's all get in tune and vibe. And so we, for, for Kamar, we thought, Hey, put on your jacket because that's his brand anyways. And put on your fly varsity jacket. We had all their ideas of him holding the metal and doing this and that. So we just had so many ideas and then we just put together what was best. So he did his thing and then we did her, then we did Rista and then we did Mr. Kyrie. But Mr. Kyrie was still not smiling. He was just, you know, he was almost like a thinker. He's like a thinker. He was just thinking, thinking, thinking and living in his own little zone. But I try to, we all try to get him excited and smile and laugh and he's just like, <laughs> but yeah, so what, so what we ended up doing is we ended up playing on the TV uh, some song that he likes and he was dancing. He was doing his little, his little foot movement. He's got a little, he's got a little sauce to it. You know what I mean? He, I, I'm sure as he gets older, it's going to be even better. Yo, yo, what's good? It's your boy Boom clocked in here to let you know, you know, the BTS. I was here to do BTS. My boy Kid came through hit me up, he was like, yo, I got a project for you, you know what I'm saying? So he hit me up, we went ahead and set that up. Uh, came through, come to find out, it was Bailey Co. Bailey Co, was it, right? Bailey Co, yeah. Bailey Co. And, dude, doing the shoot, it was it was a real, yeah, real different, like nice little family, nice, elegant, and you know, culture family too at the same time. Uh, so when I say different though, it was like, these dudes are track athletes, like they they Olympians, like seriously. And I didn't even didn't even peep that, didn't even peep that, not until they said something. But it was a real, you know, real good experience, real good family. Um, let me let me tell y'all a quick little inside too. Like like I said, they track athletes, right? So let me tell you about Kid real quick. So yeah, they track athletes. So they showing us this is when they, it got real. So they showed us the Rio medal, gold medalist, the bronze medalist. They was showing us all of that, and you know it got to the point where they was like, hey, here, you know, touch it, you know, feel it. So we we getting into that part. Wow. <laughs> Are you back up? Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's wow, this thing is, it has some weight to it. Look at this, bro. Right? <laughs> Yo, that is What's crazy. that? Let's go. This, yeah, this is the London man. Um, you know, I hold it, you know, I made sure I'm being real, real delicate, you know? And so I'm like, okay, good. My time's over. It gets to the part where it's like on the couch, right? So, yo, shh, shh, don't say nothing. But my boy Kid, right? Tell me why he had this something on the couch and all you do, all you hear is dink. <laughs> and look, man, when I tell you, I looked, I had looked up and I was like, so I went to go set up the next scene and all I heard was boom. And I thought that was Kyrie dropping some toys. So I was like, you know, let's get ready. Let's shoot. That's what I was like, let's shoot the next thing. But then I see boom, take a look at me. And I'm like, oh no, yeah. And that thing was dropped and I was, ah, oh, man, I, I felt so bad, but it's, it's, it's great because Kamar, you know, really chill dude. He was just like, ah, it is what it is, bro. Don't even worry about it, man. It's been bumped before, so don't worry. So it made me feel good, but. Kid dropped it, okay, yeah, it went it went from a high distance. It was like real low. The couch was right there, it went from high distance, but. Bailey though, like he did, he he caught it. Like you will even see a clip. Take a quick clip, uh, look at the clip. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, you get the idea? yeah. Yeah. Just like that. That's but he caught it through. It. it was like a throw up, and then bing, and then you know by then you know everybody was cool, whatever. So you can't feel too bad for dropping the gold medal, this medal, but. No, nah, the great family, good, good energy, and you know I was able to capture the BTS. Um, a wonderful experience. I can't lie. Uh, 
And then meeting Kid, that was I believe that was our first our first shoot working together, honestly. And then, you know, since then it's just been many more and then many more to come. So definitely glad for y'all to tap in. Your boy Boone out here, Boone the Click. Ew. Boone the Kid. Nah, no cuts. Keep that. I mess up sometimes, but Boone the Kid clocked in with you. And then we also were gonna do uh, where they're cooking and they're like playing in the kitchen, having fun, making some nice food. But that was gonna take like an hour and some change and we really didn't have like too much time. So with that being said, we had to work with what we had and shout out to Boone. He had a great idea, which was to have the episode kind of transition from them playing the TV show and it goes into the actual episode. So the intro ends by them pressing the button, playing the TV show and it goes into the, the episode that they're doing. I like that idea and I just kind of tweaked it up a little bit because that's good but that means that they would need to edit that every single time to, you know, cause it would be a green screen and they have to take out the green screen and then put in the new video every single time. I thought, that would be hard for them to do. You know, green screen effects and all that stuff is just an extra thing that they would need. What I'd had to do is that is how it starts. What I thought of, cause I wanted to do a whole motion, which is, you know, him opening the door and then I follow him and then we kind of rotate so that we can see him get onto the couch and then the TV's there and then he pressed the button and then it starts the intro and that's how we started and towards the end, they could be laughing and smiling. So that's what we did in order to get that shot, which was pretty creative, is I put green screen on YouTube. I just found it on YouTube and I clicked like a green screen one. So that way the whole TV is green. So our editor can take that out and then put the another video inside of there. So that's what we did to get that. But overall, it was such a fun experience. It was great to kind of have a team and we all kind of pitched different ideas of what we should do. Um, hey, should we hold this? Should we hold that? Should we do this? Should we do that? Should we that? You know, it was all a, a collaborative effort and working with them was so wonderful. Everybody's so nice and kind. And I thought it was amazing. So it all came together and now, here is the final result. Oh, five, Bailey goals, Bailey goals. It's the Bailey goals, Bailey. Come join the family. Nothing but vibes you see. Everybody's happy on this side. Yeah, we can vibe. Yeah, let's ride. Only love on this side. Bailey goals can for life. Oh yeah. So that was the end of the video. What a wonderful time. The lessons that I learned, I think the first lesson that I learned is there's always gonna be a challenge no matter what you go through, no matter how much planning you have prepared, there's always gonna be a challenge and it's up to you to overcome those challenges. The second thing that I learned is that green screen, oh my gosh, it can be a pain in the butt. That will take you a while. So the best thing I recommend is to have two lights two lights with soft boxes, two powerful lights. Right now I'm using in the back right here is a GVM 150 RGB S. I think that's what it's called. Um, really great one. I would get in future references, whenever I get the money, I would have two of those and I'd have both of those blastings on the left and right side. That way everything is smooth because trying to just get all the wrinkles out was hard. Stretch it out do a lot of green screen prep. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoy this, why don't you go ahead and give us a subscribe? That might help. Um, but yeah, honestly, we're doing this every single week. So stay tuned for the next one. And if you're curious on any of the equipment that we use, the links are down below. You can guys get whatever you guys want. I think I'm gonna have affiliate link by this time, but I'm not quite sure. And if you notice, I'm in another outfit because I'm editing now and then I say that to tie it all in, I'm doing this. But do you see this shirt that I'm in? This is Bailey Cole. 
This is Bailey Cole. This is quality, man. And for anybody in the Atlanta area, let's collaborate. Hit me up. You can go on my website. You can hit me up here. Whatever you guys want. All the links are down below. I appreciate you guys and have a good one. And don't forget, we shoot movies. <laughs>